Body, we are live. Let me let me go ahead and wipe my little screen here. It is a bit blurry, huh? Much better. Look at that. Um, how is everyone? Let me see if I can uh, get um, comments going. And I uh, want to just give you guys a quick little preview of what um, we've been or they've been working on all day. Lots of new colors. We got some Citrine AB, Light Rose AB, Rainbow Rose in the mix, and then the Purple um, Flame in the mix, and what else? Sunny Gold in the mix, Light Peach, the full family. So many new colors, and they'll all be up by Monday. So we um, have, and of course, that's a little dog treat right there. So sorry for my desk. Yes. How is everyone? Hi there. Can I get this going on here? Oh, yeah. Can I get this in my... Can I watch myself live on here? Let's see here. Give us one second. We're a little early. we got three minutes to go for everyone. Here we go. Now playing. Why did I make it big? There we go. And let me open up the chat to be live chat. Awesome. All right. Hi, Supervisio. Hi, Melissa. Good to see you. And if we've got any um, back orders coming, um, oh, why is it not playing? There we go. Awesome. Um, they'll all be ready for Monday. Hi, Lashiba. Good to see you. Hope I'm pronouncing everyone's name in a good fashion. I'm going to go ahead and put on this one, too, so that I can see it smaller. Because I've got the, the glasses on for me for close-up. Oh, what am I doing? How has everyone's Friday been? What are you guys working on? Let me know in the comments. Hi, Corey. Hi, Midgey Midge. Good to see you. Hi, Marcasia. Good to see you. Let me move these, um, these amazing new colors out of the way. Oh, you guys. Guess where these are going. Hmm, I wonder, I wonder. We'll have more announcements about that very soon. It's getting closer and closer if you guys know what I'm talking about. Good for you. Yeah, I just got those. But we can't, uh, I know, right? <laughs> we can't We can't speak about that for the moment because we're getting some things all situated in the back end. Awesome. How are you guys doing? How are you guys? Oh, my chair is squeaky. Super. Is it clear for everyone? We've got one more minute. Yes. Did you guys enter the contest yet? Oh, let me put it... Um, well, it's on the site. I'm not sure how... I'll put it in the description once once this finishes because I'm not sure how to get that um, on here without uh, doing it from there. Yeah, I don't well, know. Give me a second. I'll put the link on. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Fat Dad. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, the discount code should work for the mixes and even the samurai kit, you guys. Hi, Pilar. How you guys? Good to see you. I haven't seen everybody in so in such a long time. It's good to see you. Good to hear from you. But um, my clock says it is four o'clock. Right, meow. And and so I guess we'll get started. So you might have seen um, earlier we launched um, this contest that we're having um, for your favorite team. These are mini footballs. They're still, you know. I mean, I'd hate to have to throw a, a larger one. These fit my hand perfect. But, um, Jessica, I'm going to go over all of that. This is going to be a full uh, class, demonstration class. I hope it's clear. It looks a little blurry on. Oh, it's clear on that screen. Okay, that's fine. Um, so we're going to get started. And it's super easy to prep something like this because, you guys, it's for display only. It's going to be sitting on your shelf. Um, you don't have to do anything special. Clean it with alcohol. That's it. I'm going to use Fusion Tac. You can use Gem Tac. You could use Liquid Fusion, I think. Might be a little bit runny. Um, but this, it stays flexible. This is um, not inflated all the way because of the shipping. I guess the way it comes for shipping. Um, it's totally fine, you guys. And this is the Fusion Tac. And you could use Gem Tac. It's blurry for you. Aww. Um, it looks pretty clear on one screen. Maybe it'll, it'll clear up. Hopefully it'll clear up. If everyone says it's crappy, then I'll have to try to log off and come back in and fix that. Um, but, okay, so here for, okay, good. So it's good for um, Fat Dad Wholesale. Super, super duper, you guys. And so um, on these, 
these two balls, what's so special about them is they are all Swarovski crystals. Um, we're going to do some other ones possibly tomorrow that are going to be in Kira Kira. And um, I'll do another um, kind of class on those. But um, this is a synthetic, um, really kind of gross feeling, bumpy material, like a football texture, of course. But um, yeah, I'm not sure what they're made of. It's just, um, you know, a mini, a mini football. And yeah, you don't have to stand because it's just for display only. Anything that's going to be sitting on a shelf, um, you know, gifts, uh, presents, things like that, little trinkets. You don't have to do any kind of prepping because it's literally going to sit on the shelf. And um, I choose this glue be, or the gem tack because it's just the easiest, the most forgiving. Um, fusion and yeah, fusion tack or gem tack. And they're um, super easy to use. And I'm going to use it in my Crystal Ninja um, precision glue bottle that you can add either one of those glues or water-based glues. Please don't put solvent glues in here. They will cure inside the bottle. And um, so let's get started. Hi, Lily. How are you? Hi, Miss Michelle. Good to see you. That's right. So this is a very easy, super easy tutorial. And um, let me know if you have any questions. Jessica, that's a great question. What are the rules for copyright for things like sports teams? So there's not a set rule. It's going to be all different from company to company and policy to policy. Uh, this was purchased in the packaging from Wilson.com. Um, it's an NFL licensed ball. It comes with all the trademarks. It comes with the tags. I'm just embellishing it. I'm not recreating any kind of logos. I'm not reproducing anything on any of this stuff. Um, and also for, for details, I'm not even selling this. I'm giving this away. Uh, so if a certain company has it in their policies that they don't want a, a blinged out look, then it's possible that you might receive a cease and desist. But we are not lawyers here. So if you guys are doing this for a business, I need you guys to get your own lawyer and ask them all the all the right information. Why is my bottle not burping? I need to, I've got an air bubble or something. Oh, there it is. Sorry, put that back on. So yeah, we're not duplicating any logos. Nothing is getting cut off a cricket or a cameo or anything like that. It just came just like that. And I can't let you, I can't say if I was to sell it, would it be okay? Because every company has a different um, policy and regulation. So it's possible that it would not be okay. So you have to research it in depth for yourselves. Um, but again, this was purchased an NFL ball from Wilson.com. And it's legit in every way. All we're doing is embellishing with the Swarovski crystals. And that is it. Super easy stuff. Yeah, for sure. You're so welcome. Yeah, you bet. And so if you guys enter the contest, voting for your favorite team, um, once you finish, you're going to get a pretty substantial coupon in a confirmation email afterwards. So um, definitely check out that email. I've even got SS fives and threes all through here. And I took some time-lapse videos that I can share later. Um, hi, Janessa. Good to see you. And um, I know, we and we haven't been on in forever, too. We've been kind of busy in the background, you know. But um, good to see you so much. And I'm going to leave that right there. So I've got my mix here. It's um, SS34, Injet Hematite, SS20, 1612. There's even some vintage, super small stones um, down to, I think, fives are in here. Um, just because I'm about to have quite a few um, tiny spaces and there's going to be some spaces like in between these letters that are going to be um, very are too small and I'm not going to put any stones there. I'm not trying to break the budget with um, putting SS3s in here because again, it's a gift and I've already done a couple thousand dollars worth of work for you guys and we marked it at value of only fifteen hundred dollars just so you wouldn't get hit with any kind of taxes and stuff like that for the contest and um oh awesome oh so you had the freddy krueger oh love your work jessica that was cool yeah i'm kind of a horror fan that was awesome nice work very nice work okay so i guess let's get started i even put some ss3s in white opal in the skull here. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty tiny. 
but those are fun. I don't have many of those. And this is on, uh, this is just jet, then jet hematite on this side. And then I was working on um, this side and jet. And then got busy with the puppy, and then, of course, my glue dried. But that's okay. You can totally go right on top. It's still flexible. It's still moving. Nothing is coming off. And why would it? Because it's going to be what? It's going to be sitting on the shelf doing nothing. If it gets dusty, rinse it off. Put some water on it, you guys. It's totally fine to clean your stuff. Put some water on it. Oh, I need this side. Hi, Michelle. Good to see you. Michelle Baker, good to see you. And um, let's see. I'm going to hold it kind of upside down because I want I want it to kind of work along the seam here and I'll show you guys how I do that so I'm gonna put some pretty heavy glue pretty heavy this whole area is what I'm gonna work on I've already cleaned it with rubbing alcohol I did not sand it it's just a ball to sit on a shelf you don't have to do any sanding stuff like that it's for display only ah yes thank you there's the link to the contest who's amazing Ninja Susie. And so I got these little lipstick wands, lip gloss wands. You can get them off Amazon. They're just disposable lip gloss wand or applicator, I guess. And I'm going to lightly, because you guys see me normally do this with my finger, but I'm showing a new way, a different way that you can do this without um, putting your finger in the glue. I do want it to be kind of thick just because of all the bumps. You want that glue to kind of get in that bump and then still be on top to grab that stone. But I'm not getting in the seam. I just don't want it to be in there. I don't want my stones to be kind of inside that seam. And you can roll it and that way it won't like pull the glue too much. And it keeps it kind of thick, kind of nice. And so then we'll start with that section. This is a super easy, e easy demo, you guys. This is pretty much it. But let me know if you have any um, comments or questions. I'm here for you. Um, Jessica, do you ever notice if you don't use enough glue, they come off easily? Yes, of course. There's always a happy medium in um, the glue. If it's too heavy, not heavy enough, that definitely will happen. So it's just a little bit of practice. And you'll figure out the too much and the too little and get the hang of that. And I'm using my amazing crystal katana tool to pick up in place any size. And I'm pressing it all the way into the glue. Please always press your stones into the glue. A lot of time we have people that want us to review their work and they've got stones on top of other stones or hanging off or just not pressed in. And sometimes that can also happen um, when you lose stones. It's because the stones weren't pressed in to begin with. So you got to make sure they're in that same plane that the glue is on and press them all in then I like to look down the barrel of my item to make sure my lines are nice and straight you just kind of look at the camera look way down it make sure it's nice and straight if you have too much glue it can puddle up in between the cracks I'm not having any puddling my glue is kind of at a perfect um, thickness right now and then Michelle, will Fusion Tack hold on textured things that don't sit on the shelf? Yes, Michelle, it will do just fine. The, the Fusion Tack and the Gem Tack are really amazing glues. Um, I choose them not because they're, you know, okay with things that aren't on the shelf, but it's because they're just super strong and super easy and inexpensive to work with. There's no um, fumes whatsoever using these glues. They dry at the speed that I like them to when I'm working on something like this. So if you don't have to fight all those other characteristics of other glues that we do use and love, like this is the go easy. This is the easy button. Just hit the easy button. Right? <laughs> oh, oh, you know, Fat Dad, it's okay. There's lots of tools out there, and if it works for them, then that's wonderful. It's We're all about supporting and encouraging others. But when they're ready to be professional... They'll find a wonderful tool like the Crystal Katana, even the Tonto, or the Samurai, Adrienne, and the Coupaton. I was like, wait, what? How many? We have so many amazing tools. <laughs> um, Adrian, I see you. Uh, we are using all Swarovski. I have SS34 down to SS5 in Jet Hematite on this panel. And then I've switched it. It's all Jet on this panel, so I've got them um, opposite. 
So we'll have hematite here, jet will be here, and then hematite on the back here. See how silvery it is? And it's all Swarovski on these because it's for the giveaway. And there's a link in the comments of how you can enter the contest. Guess, um, vote for your favorite team or vote for them both and you'll be entered to win either one. I wonder what the odds are of that. What if somebody wins both of them? I suppose that's possible. You just never know. And this will um, dry clear once it's once it's dried. It will turn clear, disappears, and I'm outlining this kind of bevel. It might be hard for you guys to see, but the the indentation or the emboss or the I'm sorry the deboss of the football the logo it kind of stops there. So that's where I'm going to stop my glue, and that's where I'm going to stop the stones because I don't want to hang off onto stuff because then it's it's just more attractive if you follow your lines keep your stones nice and flat and into the glue use your opposite side that's what it's for to press and place the stones into the glue super easy and this is the this is the demo you guys the rest of it's just going to be watching me put stones on. I've got to finish these two amazing balls for the contest. And the contest will end at 3 o'clock on Sunday. So that's when we're going to pull the winner and um, announce who the lucky winner is of both contests because there's two different contests. You've got to enter um, the, the right one that you want or enter them both. The rest is watching glue ride. That is so true, Todd. Or you can go uh, vote on your contest, then in your confirmation email, you're going to get a big fat coupon code. You can go shopping, and then I'll still be here when you get back. So, I don't mind if you have to go. We're all busy doing lots of stuff. Oops. How has everyone's week been? Y'all been busy? To say the least? Yeah, what's everyone doing for Super Bowl? I've got two other footballs I might be working on. They're much larger, but I'll be doing those in uh, Kira Kira, and then they'll be for our showroom. Did you see that? Did you see those the signature balls? I did not. They're big. They're big. I forgot how big a real football is. Maybe by the front door. Oh, and they're embroidered. Bring, will you bring one if you don't mind? They're pretty. I love gluing on embroidery. And I'll use the same uh, same glue, Fusion Tack or Gem Tack. They're wonderful fabric glues as well. So that's what my it's brother's Huge. Like. It's I can't even get it like in the to the shot. It's so it's huge. Look the pretty embroidery. Look at that. I can't even get it on my desk. But I'll be I'll be working on that off and on throughout the weekend. Depending on someone's uh, schedule named Ellie. Depending on if she lets me. Because I'll be on puppy duty all weekend long. And what else? Yes, thank you. Happy anniversary. Thank you, Todd. And uh, we're going to do a, another big sale in a couple of weeks regarding that anniversary date of 16 years and counting of being a crystallization specialist. You know, just a little here and there, just a little sprinkle here and there. Super. It's just so exciting. We have so much coming. I wish I could let you guys know all of it, but I can't. Because it's super secret ninja stuff. Well, not some of it's secret. I mean, if you followed us a few weeks ago, you know what it is. But, you know. All right, let's put some more on here. I'm going to go heavy with the glue because then I'm going to just um, smear and smudge it. Look at all these bumps. Lumps and bumps, the glue is fine because I'm going to keep it on there kind of thick, kind of gap filling. Gap filling is a word that you can look at. Some glues will even say that they are gap filling. It just means they're thick. And now with my wand, my application Jessica's wand. Jessica, the color, these are jet hematite. 
they're very silvery compared to the jet that's on this side. This is jet, and then that's jet hematite, and they are Swarovski. In our Kira Kira jet hematite, they're more silvery. I wish they were a little bit darker like these are, but um, they're just they're just different. So, but they're super nice, and um, I can't wait to show you guys more projects with the new stones that came in today. The Light Rose AB, the Citrine AB, and then we got uh, more of the Purple Flame. Where's that? Light Rose AB. I know exactly where that's going very, very soon. And Citrine AB. It's quite lovely. I must say so myself. And we got lots of variety packs of other colors that we have on the site. Um that may not have been in for a while. We got a big restock that came in today. Oh, Sunny Gold in variety. It's pretty metallic, but kind of translucent, transparent. It's really a stunning bright gold. It's really pretty, really pretty. Oh, and the red is scarlet. Yes, the red is scarlet, so sorry. And I got white opal and clear um, in the sword. And on Kansas City, it's just scarlet and clear in that logo. Why won't you focus? There we go. Beautiful. That's nice. Awesome. And thank you guys for the likes. I see everyone's we got 12 likes. We've got 29 people watching. So if you're if you're um watching and you like what you see, please give us a like. If you don't like it, Please hit that don't like button twice. Go ahead and hit that twice. If you're not going to like it, then like it all the way and hit the button twice for me. Yeah, for sure. Yes, humidity or temperature does make uh, have glues dry faster or cure faster. That's a great um, comment, Todd. That is so true. Definitely. And, of course, uh, I'm in um, pretty much perfect temperature today. Well... Okay, maybe every day because I'm in San Diego. Hey, yes, the third I have 34s. That's right, SS 34s um, down to SS 5 are all my sizes. These are in the name is mostly SS 12 and a couple of 16s, and um, I'm not gonna put any clear because those would be fives and threes, and that would blow the budget of this whole project. Um, and then in the KC, I've got I think a few 20s in clear, but not not so many. But then there's the same 34s on the um, the fill. There's even some 40s on the jet. I see some uh, 40s as well. And that's because they're going to be some of our vintage 2028s in SS40. Nice space savers on these big projects. Don't be scared to go big when you have a big item. It is A-OK. -okay. What else? What else? Too big. How about a five? I did. I sure did. No, that's fine. Yep. I sure did. About to address the buzzing in these lights. No. I kind of need it, yeah. It's not as bad as it was. You know, nature of the game. Yes. Hi, Michelle. Everyone here's the boss in the background, <laughs> making sure I'm doing my stuff. She took my bonbons away. She made me get off the couch today. Oh, wait. <laughs> Does the, I don't think young people know what that is, right? Bonbons. Bon eating bonbons. Yeah, she says we do. <laughs> Tess is here, too. <laughs> <laughs> and then next week, me and Steve will be back live in some kind of form or fashion. Some kind of, I'm just, oh, I'm cleaning my tool, you guys. I had uh, used it with some glitter the other day, so I'm lightly scraping the tip off right there. Get in focus? Yeah. Yeah, good enough. Lightly scrape to get that nice and clean. I don't want to see any dust or lint or debris on your tools when you're working, when you guys send us your photos. Clean your tools, please, 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 please. Keep them nice and clean. Jessica asked how muddy, how much surface can you cover with oh, the tube? Oh, uh, that's CD. a great question, and everyone's uh, amount will be different. Everyone's um, projects will be different. Um, but as far as the car, we probably get um, two or three square feet out of one uh, cartridge. So it just depends on your spacing 
and how much you mix of the glue as to how far you can get it to go for you and how thick it is. Sometimes we have to go extra thick adding those glitters or if we're doing something that needs to be more gap filled like these bumps, you can totally put um, epoxy over bumpy stuff. I wouldn't put it over flexible stuff, um, but then again, this is going to sit on the shelf. So you could totally use two part epoxy on this, but I wanted to go easy. Easy, easy. Oh yes, we are together, but it is definitely not normal. It is definitely not normal. Yeah, we're right here. Don't talk about it like know. that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yep. They took a funny video of Ellie today, so we they put some... Was it words? Was she singing? She's singing. Oh, my baby dog. Something like that. Yeah, that was funny. Just my baby dog. That's kind of funny. Funny stuff. Hi, Vivian. Good to see you. Is it on the site? Is it on the... I did a story in Instagram. Awesome. And Facebook, yes. I did it. I did it. Yeah, and then I thought I sent it to you. I actually posted it on Instagram. Sorry about that. Good for you. <laughs> for blasting all our private stuff. Right. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Mm -hmm. So I'm using mostly SS20s with a couple of um, like 7s and 5s. Some of these are 8s and 10s mixed in. Some are 16s and 12s. This is just wow. a sprinkle fill. Oh, so. Somebody's in there. Yep, unzip and yep. bring her. Like, I would pick her up and bring her to the box. No dilly dally. She gets. Oh, now see, that one was upside down. Not that you guys can see that. Oh, you might be able to see. It's pretty clear on that screen. Mm -hmm. And it's 55 inches large. So I'm going to take this stone out, put it on the napkin. And we're going to put another one in there. Plenty of glue. Plenty of glue. Uh, Michelle, right now our largest size is just SS30. But we can special order. It just takes, um, it's a pretty big order to get um, those other sizes that we would have to carry. But it definitely might happen because we like to work on big projects. And we have customers that like big stuff. We like the big stuff. Good stinky. Did she get a treat? She did. Good girl. Her and Susie knows how to take care of her. Good girl. Yeah. Thank you, Auntie Susie. <laughs> With our potty training here still. Someone did really, really well her first two and three weeks. And then I don't know if she's just gotten lazy, but you know. Vivian, do you have started kids for cups available? Do you have Something kid. We don't have any uh, kid stuff. We have the twenty ounce tumblers on the site. Um, kits. Kits. Oh, do you starter kits for cups? Oh, that's a great question. And that is something that we're going to be doing soon. It's difficult to make a starter kit because everybody wants a different color that we might um, choose for the starter kit. But we can definitely get the basics going and then um, recommend you know the colors and stuff for sure. Yes, starter kits. Yes. Sorry if I was uh, sorry I read that wrong. I apologize. Yes. Super. Yeah, we and our the way our site works in the back end, um, we can build kits with the items that we have on the site and it is like an automatic pull from the inventory and then we've had a couple burps from that system lately, so we're working on making that a little bit better and streamlined, so Yes, starter kits. Yes, ma'am. We're going to work on that for you guys. For sure. All right, now we need some more glue. So we've only been on here 20 minutes, and I've already gotten a good part of this done. And I've been chatting up a storm. Chatting it up. She licked my glasses. Oh, she licked your glasses. Oh. <laughs> Should she make a cameo? I think she should. I think she should. Your hair is so cute. Oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> Sorry, I can't see. <laughs> who wants to see Miss Ellie? <laughs> my little baby dog. Oh, That's who's my baby, baby dog? dog? Oh, hello. She's a monster now. She's 20 pounds. She, I feel it. She's a big girl. I feel it. Say hi. Hi, sugar. <laughs> okay. Okay. Back to work. I know. I know. We got to get back to work. <laughs> right uh oh face. oh that's okay vivian no worries no worries yes awesome yes her face is something else 
Something else when she's squawking at me. Oh, she's going to eat your glasses now. No, you can't get up there. Munches, no. munches. So I'm going to come back over here just no. so I can stay in the camera a little bit better. No. Oh my goodness, you have a one-year-old. Hey, don't be sorry. I have a, a three-month-old right here. <laughs> oh no, she's four months now. Yeah, I was say, wait. <laughs> and I don't mean to compare a dog to a real baby whatsoever. Melissa Vasquez says, hi, Susie. Hi, Melissa. Yep. They're helping me out or else I couldn't be going live right now, you guys. Not possible. I'll take babysitting duty, no problem. I know, right? So I'm just going to lightly go around this edge and then I'm going to blend it in. I could use it from the bottle as well, um, but this one's ready to go. Ready to go. Yes, Carolyn, thank you. She's our... I don't know what she is, but she's here. And I'm kidding. I'm kidding, you guys. I'm kidding. She's on my scar. Yes, and now I have a little clog. She's the squishy ninja. She's this. Squ yeah, she's the squishy ninja, just like you guys get in your orders. <laughs> oh, have you sent any of the new ninjas out? I've been sending Oh, them. there's some new ninjas coming. Tess has been sending there's, they're super similar, but different, you know. Super similar, but different. All right, just smear this on. I'm being very light. If I was to press hard, it would take the glue off. You don't want that. You want the glue to kind of sit on top. Have it thick enough to cover and thick enough to grab the stone because there's the bumps. It's kind of a bumpy texture. Melissa, they are they're I think they're still randomly put in, but um, it'll happen. Soon, soon, it'll happen. You'll get one. Everyone that's watching, have you guys all entered uh, your favorite team to try to win one of these Swarovski footballs? That's right, Melissa. You got a good coupon today, I think. If you entered the contest, everybody gets that coupon. I didn't publish the coupon. It's after you enter the contest, you will get it. Let's put a little more there. Oh, is she being nice? She's not really nice to me. Snort, snort, piggy, piggy. I know. She's, she's a little piggy. snorty. She's being a little piggy, piggy. No, no. All right. Let me use my little pen. I have a clog in here. <laughs> Put that in here. Sometimes I can get it out. No, nope. maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Yeah, it seems Aww. fine now. Aww. Aww. We'll see. We can probably get five or ten minutes out of this section here. Oh, someone's being ornery. What time is it? It's 4.30. Um, you know what? You can put her hat. It's the cup is by her uh, treat center, her dog center. And it's one cup Okay. on the measurement. Pour half of it in there if you don't mind. And then give her half in like 20 minutes. Or she inhales the whole thing. Oh, yeah. It's like a quarter less than that actual cup. It's dinner time. And water. Her water might be a little empty. Awesome, Honey Bee. Very cool. And you guys, check out Honey Bee Creations. I think you have a pretty good channel, right? You have some uh, lots of videos on how to do cool stuff. I think I met you through the Rhinestone World. Check out the Honey Bee's channel. And subscribe. That's right. I, she, I'm telling you, Melissa, she eats, she inhales that food in like five minutes. It's gone. And we're trying to keep her on, you know, instructions of what it says. But my goodness, she's roly-poly. And she doesn't get any kind of table scraps or anything. She's on a very strict diet. I hear that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Honey Bee on YouTube. Yes. I love Honey Bee. So cute. So much fun stuff. And so here we go. This is the demo, you guys. Fusion Tack, Gem Tack is totally fine. It's your easiest glues that you can use for something like this because, again, it's going to be sitting on a shelf. Um, doing nothing 
does not have to be prepped in any kind of way. I've already alcoholed all of this off. It's totally fine. How Are you, you done? Enter, yeah, how do you enter the contest? Oh, how do you enter? Oh, um, it's not through YouTube. Go to crystalninja.com and you'll see a contest tab and it'll be right there. It is in the comments, um, but you can find it easier through. I'm going to post it one more time. Okay, Susie's so going to paste that. Yep. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, yep. Go. Super. Yeah, I'm out of here. Okay, thank you so much. Y'all did amazing today. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. See you soon. Have a wonderful weekend. Do happy Super Bowl. Yes, happy Super Bowl. You gonna go party? Or happy big game. <laughs> She's saying goodbye to everybody. Yes, uh, Miss Michelle, you can totally go from your email because we sent the email blast out. And um, because it's two different competitions, which you can enter them both. Um, I wanted a central place to be able to find both, so I made a little page on the website, and you can click each one if you're interested in entering them both. And I don't know why you wouldn't want to enter them both, because how cool is that? I mean, you know, very Everybody cool. Everybody knows the Kansas City fan. Right? I don't know about the Buccaneers. Uh-oh, she's <laughs> starting some shit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh. You, so I, I bring her in all the You're way. So stinky. Come on. Come on. Stinky time. Pick up and bring her. She doesn't get to decide when it's time to go. Oh, she's right here with me. I know she is. Turd. I'm gonna not let her. I'm gonna not let her pass my legs. She's running away like a toddler <laughs> with a diaper. She's just no, out of my reach. She's just... <laughs> Grab that fat thing. <laughs> She's such a chubby monkey, man. She's so chubby. So a chubby, you guys. So much chubby chub. Yes, Miss Michelle. Hey, what you working on, Miss Michelle? What you working on? What's everybody working on? And so that coupon, it now it works on um all the new mixes, which again they sold they, they sold pretty quickly. I think there's still a few left of the ones that sold out because whoever enters the um their email to get notified when they're restocked then they get an alert so they were super fast and we already saw quite a few go out the door um so always fill out those notify me buttons yeah. and it's not for us to spam you whatsoever um it's just to send you an alert when something is back in stock my funny valentine went in and oh, it went back out. oh yeah my funny valentine she gone she came in and then she came out. She's gone. Super. Alrighty. Right. Well, I don't want to keep you guys too much longer. I think 30 minutes is pretty good. This demo is very easy. Um, nothing challenging here. Because again, it's just to sit on a shelf. And um, even though that's true, it's still not going to come off. Like, it's it's not coming off without ripping it off. So, um, don't rip stuff off. <laughs> but it'll be super awesome to receive as a free gift. Oh, well, there you go. Miss Thing is talking behind my back here. She's barking at us. She's barking at us. Right. She's a full-time job, you guys. Go get Aunt Susie. She's got something for you. Something for you. And if your glue starts to dry, see how it's um, it's more dry here? Probably because of the heat from my hand. It could be that even that much. Um, but you can add more glue. I don't like going over an area more than like once it gets too dry and I add new glue. I don't like to do it the third time because then you can visually see it can be a bit thick um, but this spacing here it looks fine it's quite it's quite beautiful actually so yeah practice your spacing and use that as your texture and to me I think it's a bit more attractive to do a sprinkle fill on um, round and curvy items because when you do you know if you try to do honeycomb you can't fit it into a honeycomb because it's on a round item um, without lots of fillers and then your budget kind of gets off um 
So yeah, I think a sprinkle fill is a lovely way to go about doing um, balls like this. And it can be quite fast. I timed myself on these, on my time lapses. This one was, I want to say, an hour and five minutes. And then this background was right at 42 minutes. So you can really zoom fast um, once you practice and get your fill patterns down. Um, so there you go, guys. I've got a few more panels to go here on these two sides. And I'll, I'll flip-flop them. We have Jet on this side, Jet Hematite on this side. So this one will be Jet on the, around the Chiefs and then Jet Hematite around the back side. And I'm going to leave open all of the branding. i um, not going to cover that up. I might put some red in the Wilson and a few in the NFL logo, but it's just so small. It's not really necessary. Plus, it's going to be at the back. If someone's going to display this, it's not likely they'll put on this end. So why put all that detail in? Because number one, it's my giveaway gift. And number two, um, it's just not going to be seen. So you want to probably display it with the two logos um, showing. Sorry, I was off the camera. Something like that. Um, or you might have it rotating. Maybe you have some kind of way you want to have it rotating on a display. Who knows? But um, I think that'll be... Most of, um, uh, Jessica, that's a great question on, um, the letters. I just kind of filled lines. I just followed the lines with the different sizes of the Buccaneers because the font was so thin, but on, uh, the Chiefs, I did kind of like, um, kind of a honeycomb, but then flip the sizes. And then on the S I did definitely do like a sprinkle fill because it wasn't the same thickness. It's a little bit thicker. So I just changed it up. You don't have to always do it the same because, again, I am the client. I wanted to do this the way, you know, I could just zoom through and finish it up um, super and keep it super easy. And then on the KC, I did like an alternating. It's hard to see on the camera, but I've got like a, a five and a nine and a nine and a five, five and a nine, nine and a five. So I kind of switched those up and it makes them, even though they're grid, they're actually sprinkled because of different sizes. So kind of sort of. And this one, I just lined it thick to thin, thick, you know, thick to thin. And just kept that nice and easy. I didn't put any stones around the black outline. That's just much too small. And then I didn't outline the black here uh, because I did it in the clear. So I think it's a, a nice accent. And it looks pretty good. It looks exceptional from, you know, from even from far away. But it looks really good up close. I can't wait to post my time-lapse videos. And um, you guys can see that. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Michelle doing some license play. Heck yeah. Super. And Spreading Sunshine and More did a basketball and it took a while to complete it. Yeah, basketballs are pretty big. This is probably, uh, basketball is probably four times as large as a mini um, football. That's a lot of square footage. But that's awesome. And you design shoes and love this video. Well, thank you guys. Looks like we've had about 37 of you um, viewing. And how many likes do we have? Oh, that's awesome. 28 likes. I sure appreciate that. And um, when I get to... My, uh, also, when I when I finish um, this section, when I need more stones, I'm going to open up this. Uh, these are actually um, hot fix. They're going to have rose gold on the back of them. They're, you can iron them on. But it's the stones that I have ready to go. And so once you open them up and open this, what I'm going to do is only take one tray for this section because I have another ball over here and I want to have pardon me, these left. So I'm going to save this little shelf or this little um, tray of stone, sorry, not shelf, and save it for the other um, ball to get this um, backside done. That way I have similar fill patterns. And then the other sizes are just from pinching and scooping and making that there. But all right, I don't see any other questions. We've been almost uh, 40 minutes now. And um, thank you guys. If uh, Don't forget to enter the contest and share it. There's lots of ways you get more points if you keep sharing. And that way it gets more, more entries. Not points, I'm sorry. It's more entries. <laughs> Wait. I know. I'm like, what? Points? No. Point no, I'm just making it. I'm just making up stuff. I don't, you know, I'm tired, y'all. It's true. I ain't gonna lie. Um, all right, then. So thank y'all so much. I'm gonna turn off. And because uh, some people don't like such long videos, the demo was very short, very easy. Clean with alcohol. Fusion tack or gem tack, easy glues. You don't have to use complicated glues. It goes over the bumps just fine, um, and it stays flexible, and you can still wash this if it does get dusty on your shelf because it's just going to be sitting on a shelf. So, all right, you guys, you're so welcome, Jessica. Thanks so much for joining. See you later, guys. Miss Michelle, Melissa, and um, I'll be live somewhere else. I'll pop in 
And who knows, if I can get someone to take a nap later on tonight, maybe I'll be over on the Crystal Ninja Facebook page or Instagram or who knows where else. Who knows where else? Oh, thank you, Patrice. Thank you so much. And thank oh, Melissa, you're having a hard time sharing it to Facebook. Oh, no worries. Maybe I'll pop over on Facebook and, and be live um, sometime tonight. It might be late, though, because I got to put someone to bed, you know. All right, you guys, I'm going to turn off and thank you all so much and good luck on the contest. Good luck. Oh, uh, yes, Jessica, um, I will do the, the top white part. I'll just do that with clear. Maybe white opal. I don't know. Ooh. We'll see. Yeah, maybe white opal. Yeah, yeah, that would be kind of nice. So, yeah, maybe white opal. <gasps> maybe both. Hmm. You'll have to wait and find out what happens. Yes. And have a good night, honey bee creations. Keep those videos coming. I'm catching. I hope I will catch up with you because you're doing pretty darn good on YouTube. And um, more to come. All right, you guys. Have a wonderful Friday. Y'all stay safe. Where is the end button? I never know where it is. There we go. And yes...